Hey everyone, Tristan here. In today's video, I want to go over the details about my test with batch processing in RX-8. So in addition to testing the M1 Mac Mini, I wanted to compare it with two other real-world scenarios. My 16-inch MacBook Pro and my custom-built PC, which I built for VN Ensemble Pro and Contact primarily. So I wanted to do two tests. First, a few very large files, and then second, lots of very small files. On each set of files, I ran the same module chain in RX-8's batch processor. First up is the fully maxed out 16-inch MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro's 8-core chip can have 16 logical cores with Intel's hyper-threading. This allows RX-8 to process 16 files at once, and this would seemingly be the biggest advantage in the group. However, the MacBook Pro also has the slowest clock speed of 2.4 GHz, and while it does have turbo boost, I suspect that for such a long job it didn't really kick in, probably due to thermal limitations. You can see that the longest process in the chain was the DRussell module. As a module that doesn't work in real time ever, I thought it would be interesting to include it in the test for this reason. It's a bit of a heavy hitter. All machines seem to have a hard time with this, so that kind of both says something and nothing, right? But more on that once we get to the final results. In the end, this test took 1 hour, 16 minutes, and 36 seconds to complete. As mentioned before, the thermal limitations of the device meant that I had a jet engine working my studio for that time. Next up, we've got the M1 Mac Mini. The M1 can only process 8 files at a time. I thought for sure that this meant it would take roughly twice as long. You can see that the chip is working at mixed loads over the course of the processing, but it still maxes out at numerous times. You can also note that it's running under Intel architecture, meaning it's being translated by Apple's Rosetta technology, so it's at a slight disadvantage. As mentioned before, the DRussell process took some time to do as well, and of course, it's only working half as many files as the MacBook Pro. Its clock speed is rated at 3.2 GHz, so it's 33% faster on that front. Despite having sped up the video playback by 7000%, there's only so much I have to say about this, so at this point I'm just adding a bit of filler. Uh, in the end though, the M1 Mac Mini came in at a very reasonable time of 1 hour, 17 minutes, and 45 seconds, despite processing half of the files at the same time as the MacBook Pro. The most incredible part for me was that the fan never audibly kicked in, not even once. And for one last comparison, I wanted to see how my PC would perform. I built this PC back in 2017. It's using an Intel 4-core i7 clocked at 4 GHz. Because of hyper-threading, I can process 8 files at once. I thought that this would come somewhere in the middle given that it's clocked a bit higher than the Mac Mini but couldn't process as many files at once as the MacBook Pro. It should be noted that my cooling system was going full blast, but as it's a large case and fan, the noise is, let's say, tolerable. Remarkably though, the total time was far shorter than both Macs, coming in at around 1 hour 2 minutes. I suspect the higher clock rate is the reason for this, which probably really helped with the longer, more intensive tasks like DRussell. The final results for this test show that the custom PC was roughly 20% faster than the Mac Mini, and all that for a similarly priced computer, though we won't get into Mac Windows debates here. For my second test, knowing how the last one went, I thought the MacBook Pro would still have a leg up because it would be able to handle more files at once. I figured that the advantages of a higher clock speed wouldn't matter as much on 5-6 to six second files as compared to 45 minute long files. In the end though, the Mac Mini wiped the floor with both of them, finishing in just 3 minutes and 22 seconds. The MacBook Pro wasn't too far behind, and finally the PC surprised me by coming in over 4 minutes. All in all, the Mac Mini is a pretty good machine. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, comment below if you have any questions or want to see a different test with the Mac Mini. Thanks so much.